do it now, okay? Me have to do it now, okay? Me have to do it now. What I mean by that is I have to do it now, okay? So, I received the message from the Holy Spirit a couple days ago, and I thought it was just a message for me. And it was yesterday when the Holy Spirit told me, like, this is actually a message for other people. And how do I know that? Is because when I have a conversation with the Holy Spirit and something relating to what I'm going through and stuff like that, and he encourages me, I look at that as like a learning experience for other people as well. And oftentimes when he wants me to share, he'll either say share or he will n continuously nudge me about what we already discussed, right? And yesterday he was nudging me, nudging me, nudging me. And I'm just like, God, I don't feel like posting the video. Cause I'm not gonna lie. Like lately, I just haven't been feeling like posting. Not, it has nothing to do with you guys. You know, I love you guys. Nothing to do with you guys at all. It's just literally like, I was just like in this, in this like moment of just like, oh my gosh, like I don't know if I'm ready to deal with any like negativity today. And if, and if I see one negative comment, I don't want anything ruining my day, you know? I was just in that era, like that moment, and just like, just wanted to like be at peace, you know, and not wanting to put myself in any type of position to disturb my peace at all. And um, he kept nudging me, nudging me, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna post it. So I'm posting it now because he nudged me again. Like every time he keeps bringing it back, <laughs> I'm like, I have to share this, okay? So I just want to say that. You don't have to be a mother or you don't have to be a father. Like, you don't have to have kids for this message to resonate with you. But I just want to say something. I understand a lot of you guys are going through warfare. I understand a lot of you guys are going, are breaking generational curses. A lot of, I understand a lot of you guys are, you know, breaking hexes and witchcraft and everything like that. You guys are literally breaking a cycle. And it's not easy. And it's a little bit harder right now because, well, in general, it's a little bit harder for us because you see everybody else that don't really have the same type of issues that we have. It's like they can go through a little bit of depression. They can go through a little bit of sadness. And it's like it won't be as heavy as it would be for us because we can go through something similar to other people, but we may have it 10 times harder because we have the manipulation of witchcraft. We have the manipulation of spirits that is making whatever we're enduring 10 times harder. So for the average person, they can get over it like that. But when it comes to us, it's, like, it's gonna take a little bit of a time for us to recover from certain things. And it's like the hindrance that we are fighting, it's a little bit more heavier than a lot of people. But I want to just say something to you guys that the Holy Spirit told me, and I know it's going to help many of you guys as well. When you go through times where you just want to give up, and you're like, God, I want to throw in the towel. You know, I'm done. Like, I'm just tired of it. I want to go off the grid, okay? <laughs> like, you, I want to go off the grid, Holy Spirit. Like, I just want to pack up all my stuff, sell my, my car, sell my home, sell wherever, whatever you have, sell all my belongings, and just go somewhere, like, go somewhere, go to, like, an island, or go somewhere far away, just off the grid, where we don't live this everyday life of being in the city and having to wake up and do the same routine every day. Like, I just want to live off the grid, God. Like, I just want to move far away from social media, from the cell phone, from everything, and just move away. But... It's easier said than done. And although we want to throw in a towel and do things like that, that's not the Holy Spirit's plans for us. It's not. You know, it's not. Um, because we have a purpose, we have a mission. And best believe, whatever God assigned you to do, He may have told you to stay your butt still, like stay put. Or He may have told you to move somewhere and you had to move. Right? But wherever God needs you to be and he tells you to go or he tells you to stay, that's where he needs you. And when God tells you to stay somewhere or go somewhere, we have to, it's like we have to adapt to whatever is around us, whether it's the city life, whether it's, you know, whatever we have to adapt to, right? Because there's a purpose behind it, you know? And... I just want to say to you guys, yes, it's going to get hard sometimes, but think about who's really there for you. Who's really there for you? Really think about it. Just really think about it. 
And I know it may hurt you. I may, I, it may even sting when you think about it. I know. I know. I know I'm ripping off a band-aid right now. I know, but I have to. I have to. Because this is what's going to keep you guys going. Think about who's really there for you other than God. Physically. Who's really there for you? Okay. Now that you thought about that, if you have kids, think about who's there for your kids other than you. Think about it. This may even sting more. I get it. Think about if anything was to happen to you, who's going to take care of your kids? If anything happens to you, let's just say you live with your mom and you don't have kids, or you, you, you know, you love your family, you love your mom, you love your dad, you love, you know, you have good people around you who's your family. Because not everybody comes from a toxic family. A lot of you guys have amazing parents, you know, amazing brothers and sisters. Think about if something happens to you and you're the one that's supposed to break a generational curse and you're the one that God is going to use to create a legacy for your family, whether you have kids or whoever it is that's around you, what's going to happen if something happens to you? You know what I mean? So in this season, not even just in this season, but you are highly dependent on. You are highly needed. And oftentimes, you may not even understand how important you are. Because it may feel like the world's against you. Because it may feel like you have nobody there. You get what I'm saying? And let's just say you don't have any kids and you don't have any family. You're still important to you. If anything's going to happen to you, who's going to take care of you? Deep, huh? You're, it's like you have, whether you have kids or whether it's a family that depends on you, whether you're just by yourself, regardless, you have to depend on you. Regardless, others depend on you. Regardless, you're still in that leadership position that God needs you to be in for you to make changes because you're the one that's supposed to make these changes. And what keep what kept me going and what made me not want to give up was when the, when, that, when the Holy Spirit mentioned my kids and he was like, if anything happens to you, who's going to take care of your kids? And me really thinking about that, my kids ain't got nobody but me. They never did. They never even got Christmas presents from their dad. You see what I'm saying? Like, my kids ain't got nobody. I'm the only one they have. I'm the only one that can break this. I'm the only one that can build for them. I'm the only one. You see what I'm saying? And I know many of you guys feel that too because you guys are going through the same things. And like I said, even if you don't got kids, you still have to break it's like the next generation depends on you you may even if you don't have kids you may want to have kids in your future you see what i'm saying even if you don't want kids in your future you still have to depend on you you still are important for you so whenever you want to give up just just i mean hey you might as well just rip the band-aid off right now because you can't heal with the band-aid on you know what I'm saying? Like that, you got it. You got to leave the bandaid off for you to heal properly. But every time you want to give up, just really think about that. You're the one that's dependent on right now to break this this cycle, to change generations to come. Why? Because you have the anointing, you have the mentality, you have the heart, you have the gifts. You get what I'm saying? I don't know why I just heard the Lord say liability. God, what do you is that a new message or is that connected? Is that new or is that connected? You gotta you gotta confirm that for me. He said liability. <laughs> You're funny, Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna confirm that. It may be part of the message. If it's if it's separate, then I'll let you guys know. But I just wanna tell you all that. Keep pushing. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me going, man. You know? You have to remember that there's people that depend on you, even if you don't believe it or you don't see it. God needs you, and we need God. You know what I'm saying? And it may not even be family. It may be st complete strangers you don't even know that God is going to use to enter your life in the future that you're going to help. You're important. You don't even realize how important you are. Get up. Get busy. Okay? Love you guys. Bye.